so guys uh, finally uh, we have done the installation of subscriber successfully without any issue it took around 50 minutes and uh, you can see the screen okay this is the thing what i told you the difference between publisher and subscriber here asking is this server the first node in the cluster in the publisher i said yes but here i will say no now it is asking about the connectivity with the first i will mention the name publisher ip address of my publisher and the password for the security which i already set during the installation of publisher system report i'll check here call manager database status okay let's generate the report and see the synchronization is correct or not if this is not correct it means your installation have some issue and you have to do the installation from from the scratch okay so guys uh, once again welcome back to my channel and uh, now we are doing the installation of uh, subscriber and this is our episode number six and uh, i will show you that what is the difference in between doing the installation of publisher and the subscriber uh, there is not much different except two or uh, two or three options uh, which it will ask you uh, during the installation so we'll discuss with this one i will share my screen now with you guys the same process i will do it i'll go on the vm i will create a new uh, ova with the help of uh, this template and i will select the file over here subscriber and then make it next and uh, i'll not make it power on just make it next and it will finish okay so by the help of template it will automatically uh, take the specification of the server in the recent task you can see the task has been completed here so i'll come over here for the subscriber and uh, we'll see it take the same specs 2 gb of cpu uh, memory which is required 12 gb so the next thing i will make edit from here and uh, the changes what we need to do it Number one, we need to select the voice port group, which I did for the publisher as well. Then I will connect over here with the ISO data store, which is my bootable image. I already informed you that your image should be bootable. Otherwise, you are not able to run the setup. So I'll make here for status simple and I will make power on. Okay. So the process for the subscriber installation is started now. So we'll see what the option it will ask now. So guys, uh, it asks again the same to test the media. We will test the media for the integrity of the file. So it's just a few uh, second process. Okay, so media is tested now. Now it will detect the server hardware. Again, it will take few minutes. Same thing as per what we did in the publisher. Okay version is 15 same as publisher i'll proceed with this one same as publisher no patch deployment required and i will do the continuing installation time zone it is asking now this is the time zone duplex same as it is mtu i'll keep it same dhcp i don't want and here is the information now i will provide the host name of uh, subscriber okay and the ip address 10 to 1 1 uh, 60 101 okay and then the mask and then i'll make it gateway 160.1 okay so number one this is the thing uh, second thing i have to do something in the publisher if i don't do this, uh, do this one uh, there is some chances uh, for the uh, for the failure of the subscriber installation what i will do now i'll go in the in the, my main publisher i'll go here in the server and uh, i will see over here i can see my publisher so what i will do now i will include my subscriber here in this option okay it's because when the installation will start in the in the upcoming steps it will ask to connect with the with the publisher because the database is common for both it's a single cluster so it that's why i will add subscriber and i will add subscriber with ip address 
not with the name because I do not have a DNS. Okay, I do not have a DNS, so I will put uh, the IP address 101 simple and description subscriber. You have to do this one. If you don't do this one, your installation will be failure for subscriber. Okay, so simple, I make it safe. And now if I see over here, I will find over here two servers. Okay, so publisher and sub uh, subscriber is here. This one I can change to the name, but I'll keep as it is as a publisher because in the database, it's already included. Okay, so I'll come back over here. I will make with the okay. DNS, I don't want. This is the password for the subscriber administration. I will keep the same as my publisher. Okay. Same, I will provide my organization name. Okay, this is the thing what I told you the difference between publisher and subscriber here asking is this server the first node in the cluster in the publisher I said yes, but here I will say no. Okay, so if it's saying if this is not the first node in the cluster, you must first configure this server on the first node before you can proceed. You see what I did in the publisher I include the IP address of uh, this subscriber same thing it asking me here so i'll keep it okay the next phase of the installation will verify network connectivity okay uh, it will check check the network connectivity with publisher please select yes if the installation should pause after the verification to allow the installation please select no if the installation should not proceed uh, should proceed after the validation i will select option no i will told it to do the uh, to proceed with the installation after the validation. Okay, so I'll keep as no. Now it is asking about the connectivity with the first. I will mention the name, publisher, IP address of my publisher, and the password for the security which I already set during the installation of publisher. Okay, so that's why I keep my all uh, username and password similar, but I make it a complex one. Okay, so make sure this information is correct. And this is the only thing which is different between publisher and subscriber. So this is the IP address of my publisher. This will make it no. Okay, and now the process is started. So let's see the result. I hope it will be continue without any issue. And if we face any issue, we will try to troubleshoot it. So guys, uh, finally, uh, we have done the installation of subscriber successfully without any issue. It took around 50 minutes and uh, you can see the screen that is showing the subscriber login. And uh, I will log in now with the credentials, what I have. Okay. I'm able to log in to the subscriber. Then I am able to I will check from here. Uh, 10.21.160.101 Sometimes guys when you do the installation immediately the GUI is not available okay it give you some error so just give it around 10 minutes 15 minutes after the installation 
of uh, the unified either publisher or subscriber and then try to log in otherwise you will see here some error page okay that's normal so i will try to log in okay i'm able to log into the subscriber i'm able to log into the uh, publisher Okay, so I'll go over here, system, server. So both are showing over here and also showing here. So guys, uh, let's summarize what we have done in uh, this two session, episode number five and episode number six. In the episode number five, I did the installation of uh, publisher and the things which I, I take care the first thing, reachability uh, with the gateway. Second thing, port group for the Vice VLAN you have to create. Otherwise, your installation will be failure. Uh, the third thing, uh, NTP. Okay. So this is the main thing which you to be uh, you have to be careful. And uh, uh, on the both side, publisher or subscriber. One more thing, I will check now because this is a single cluster. Okay. So my database uh, replication is between publisher and subscriber. So publisher will take the, the database and the replicate to the subscriber. So it's a single cluster with two servers. Uh, I will show, show you here about the database. Let me check where it is exactly. I believe reporting. System reports. I'll check here call manager database status. Okay. Let's generate the report and see the synchronization is correct or not. If this is not correct, it means your installation have some issue and you have to do the installation from, from the scratch. Okay. So make sure your replication should be in good health. So I'll check over here. All server have a replicate count. This one. Good initializing. Okay. So no worry because just now I told you the installation is finished. It will take around 10, 15 minutes to normalize uh, the replication. And once it... Uh, uh, time pass around 10 15 minutes this replication will be also in good but even after the 15 20 or half an hour uh, you will see over here some in initialization or error it's mean your replication have some issue so you have to check with the, the cisco either open a tag case and they will check it or you have to do the installation from scratch another thing i will uh, check over here unified call manager data summary i will just generate the report so you see over here uh, the server to everything is fine. So there are uh, many good applications in the CUCM, especially the reporting. Anything you want to uh, extract about uh, uh, the reports about your call manager health, replication, network status, you can get from here. Disaster recovery is for the backup. We will do this one as well. And uh, we have done our lab for the publisher. Our episode number six is done. I will see. Uh, with my my task sheet that what is my next episode which is number seven and then we will continue so take care and please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel it take a lot of time to build the lab as a result oriented for you guys so please we need your support so we can continue more and more for you guys so take care Allah Hafiz goodbye